Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Teresa and today we are going to put the spine, the signatures in this journal. So I got a piece of cardstock and I'm cutting it to the size I want. And before I continue explaining, please hit that like and subscribe button. That helps me a lot. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And so I am just cutting this down. And then um, I have three signatures. This is my way of doing it. I'm sure there's other ways. I'm sure there are better ways than doing it my way. <laughs> but I don't normally do three signatures. This is how I do it. So I fold my spine template in half. And then I open it up. And I fold the inside, the outside, into the middle. So that gives me my second line. And then I flip it around and do it the other way. So I have three lines on that piece of paper, which makes it um, a lot easier. And then what I do is I double check the size. It's always good to double and triple check before you start punching and making holes where you really don't want them. So I am taking a pen and marking, this is my top. So I know it's the top. I've done it once where I didn't do that. And oh my gosh, I'm here to tell you, I wound up poking the bottom over the top and it totally did not fit into my spine. My signature's done it, it was horrible. So I was thinking of folding this in half and then I changed my mind. <laughs> So here I am taking a ruler and putting it in the center fold. And then I am counting which ones I want. And I mark where I want it to give me, um, let's see, how many holes did I make? I have the center holes. I have five holes in this. So this is me figuring out the bottom two. And then I figure out, and then I use the same thing for the top two. It took me a bit to do the math, um, but you can fold it if you want and just have three holes. I just wanted a little bit more. Um, so here I am marking what I where I want them. And as you can see above, I do have marks already on the top part. Um, and so now I am just drawing a line between all of that so um i know where to stab my pokey thing in and yes i know it's not called a pokey thing but i really like to call it a pokey thing anyways um so now what i'm doing is um I don't know what I'm doing right here. Oh my gosh. It's a mystery. Measuring? Looks like I'm measuring. Oh, I'm figuring out where to put my dots. Yeah. So I put dots at every intersection where I'm going to poke my hole. And here I am trying to um, figure it out. And honestly, I don't know why I'm doing figuring it out. Because guess what? I folded it already. My brain just didn't remember and it didn't really look really good. Yeah. But anyhow, I did fold it already. So I made my dots and here I am putting my um, paper against my spawn to make sure I have it right where I want it. And again, the top part that I marked that says top, make sure it's on the top of your book. I'm getting something to be able to put under that because I don't want my holes being poked and put into my table. So now I take the pokey tool and stab it. So if you have anger or frustrations, oh my gosh, great way to get them out. You just stab and stab and stab and stab and make all those holes for the signature. It's wonderful. Um, not that I would know what that's like. No, just kidding. 
I do have my everyone has challenges. Um, but go way to get out some frustrations, just like those salad spinners that go. Oh, love those or those hand choppers. Anyhow. Um, so I am poking the holes in all of these so I can have my signatures. It takes a bit because, you know, I have three signatures and there's five holes per signature. Don't know what I was thinking there, but that's what we did. Um, so I am putting my book aside, making sure I have all of my, uh, prepping my signatures now is what I'm doing. So I'm making sure my signatures and pages are right where I want them. And then I'm putting a, a uh, clip on them to secure them where I would like them. Um, and I do this for all three signatures. Um, this one I'm using paper clips. Some I use those little binders I have on there. Um, it just depends on what, what I have around. It's what I use. Um, so, and I'm trying to make sure that they stay in order because the story's in order. Um, and so I want to make sure that story stays in order. So I take my, um, first, first page, set it up. Now I'm working on the second sen the center of the three. And so I put that aside and now I'm doing the third one out of the three that way and I'm keeping them in order as I go that's really important um, and now what I do is take this book I use the center or whatever part and I use that as like a book cradle because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a book cradle why buy it when you have a book that you can punch anyhow so here I am punching all of my holes in here to make sure it is where I want them and um, I keep going so I get these and I leave those in don't take them out yet you don't want them out yet so I put that down and then I do the middle one and I always check to make sure it is the top on the top side so as you can see like when I switch between these I always make sure okay this picture is facing up top my punch tool paper needs the T for top needs to be up at the top um so um that's how I do it and sometimes I forget and so I look again but and then I put the middle one on there and again I'm saving the order that I want in the order keeping the pa the signatures in order um and so now is yeah the part i have struggled with i swear if somebody can sew in your signatures like you make and design the book and then somebody sew in the signatures that would be ideal just like if you can make a quilt top and somebody piece all the quilts but it doesn't cost a fortune that makes a big difference anyhow um so i did three and a half yard three and a half is what i measured because there is um five holes on here and i didn't want to run out and so i basically what i did was just cut the other two because i knew i had three signatures so might as well do it all at once um, what I am using thread wise, it is a waxy thread. I know you can use embroidery floss, but I really like the waxy thread. To me, it just slides through papers way easy. And of course, if you have a hard time, like I did with this, my hands were hurting at this point. Um, that's part of, I, I always thought I had arthritis in my hands and realized, nope, that's the fibromyalgia. Yeah. Anyhow, grab a little pair of pliers and yank and pull that sucker out. So what I'm doing is holding on to the front and I am totally not doing this as you should. My hands were hurting and my brain really wasn't thinking. 
So I only did record this one signature. Um, so I put in to the bottom, I started in the center and I worked my way to the bottom. And here I am like poking it through the back and I'm poking it through the, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did it this way. I do have better um, signature pieces on how to sew them. Boy. Anyways, so I take and see I'm having issues right here because man, the cold outside affects my hands and it makes this type of a process way worse. But um, especially when you're going through chipboard, chipboard's tough. Anyways, so I am just continuing to poke and go through. And this time um, I am literally going through what I already did and going up and over. So see, I have, I'm going to pull that a little bit. Um, and I have the first two sewn, first three holes sewn. So I take this other one and poke it through that second to the top hole. Um, actually, no, I don't. Why am I poking it? Okay. You can poke it through the middle. Yeah, that works. That's what I did. I thought it, I must have done it differently for the other holes. I don't know. Anyhow. Um, and again, I just pull that through. But the trick is to just, when you're doing it, make sure that you have um, the lines on all the back. See, so you, you have the four, and then you have the four lines in the front. Um, and then you'll be good. And when you get everything put through, remember th to make it tight and make it make the pages when you before you and I didn't do this later on. So you'll see at the end I show you the end result of all of them. And the last two signatures are up a tad and it's drives me nuts. But I will be fixing that and I'll show you how I fix that in the next um video. Um so I am just giving that a really good tab going through that other hole and um I just make sure it's nice and taut for the pages do not fall out or they don't wiggle. And I make sure that these pages are in the book, that they don't go above the book or any of that. So all of that's important to do it. Um, so that's how I do the signatures for these. I just love that cover, that little kitty. It's so cute. And see, I'm double checking how I did it. <laughs> and we go on to the next signature, which you guys don't see. Sorry. Um, I have a video where I do multiple signatures, I think. So here it is with it done. And as you can tell, the back is up high. Um, there's, they're sticking up a little in the sides. So anyways, thank you for joining me. If again, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and think of subscribing and I will see you next time. I'm just loving how this turned out. So cute. Okay. Thanks. Bye.